No collusion with Russia. That's what Attorney General William Barr says about the findings of special counsel Robert Mueller's report. After spending the weekend combing through the report, Attorney General Barr announced his interpretation of the findings. It said in part the special counsel's investigation did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with Russia in its efforts to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election. However, when it comes to obstruction of justice, Robert Mueller's report itself states while this report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. NBC's Pete Williams breaks down the report for us tonight. The summary says Robert Mueller looked at the now familiar actions by the president to see if they amounted to obstruction of justice. That would include the firing of the FBI director, James Comey. President Trump told Lester that he fired Comey because of the Russian meddling investigation. When I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made up story. Other public actions include Comey's claim that the president asked the FBI to go easy on Michael Flynn. And there was the president's constant criticism of Mueller himself. But Barr's letter says Mueller did not draw a conclusion one way or the other about whether any of that amounted to obstruction. Mueller's report, quote, does not conclude that the president committed a crime. It also does not exonerate him. Barr says he and the deputy attorney general Rod Rosenstein concluded that that conduct did not reach the threshold of a crime. Part of their reason, they said, is that they found no other crime that the president would have been trying to cover up. As for Mueller's central assignment, the letter says the special counsel did not find that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it conspired or coordinated with the Russians to interfere in the election. No involvement, Mueller concluded, with the Russian-led hacking into Democratic computers or the phony social media accounts set up by Russian intelligence to spread disinformation. That's despite, the report says, multiple offers from Russia-affiliated individuals to assist the Trump campaign. The letter also discloses new details about the sheer scope of Mueller's investigation, issuing an astonishing 2,800 subpoenas, 500 search warrants, and interviewing 500 separate witnesses. Barr says he intends to release more information about the Mueller report, but will need Mueller's help in determining what cannot be disclosed because of federal laws governing grand jury secrecy.